I'm Izzy Osk, I'm from February, and I'm a junior. Monopoly! My poem is titled Villains. Villains don't come from Disney stories. They don't have blue or purple skin and pointed teeth. They don't have magical powers that they use for evil. Villains are in our everyday lives. They are found in talking stages, and I can tell you anything. They are found in, I promise I'll always be here for you, and long talks in the cold before you walk back into your house. But that doesn't sound like a villain, and you're right, because they weren't at first. You see, they pretend like they care, they say they're always there, they act like they're interested in you. They tell you don't shut them out, and they want to help you. They're the person that you invite to a family event just as an excuse to hang out with them. But they are not who you think they are. You know, Disney villains are bad guys. But real villains, they seem like they're they seem like your hero. They give you their hurting. You find comfort in being around them, and they know that you do. They let you slowly become more emotionally attached, and you hang out with them more, and you keep talking to them. They're the person you grow so close to, and by instinct, they're the name you look for when you see your notifications. They hand you the bottle of their cologne and say, here, spray it on my hoodie so it smells like me again. And then they start fading away. They get quiet and they ghost you and at first you act like it's not happening and that they've just had a busy week. They'll talk to you more again soon, but they never do. You become worried and you start looking at their location. You notice that late at night for two weeks straight, they're at the same place, a place you don't quite recognize, but they're in the same spot every night. Real villains don't give you explanations. They don't give you closure. They don't tell you things directly and then they ask for their hoodie back. And you can't believe it, you cry and you cry and you realize with those five words, I want my hoodie back, they are the villain. And you feel stupid because you let that happen. You let that villain get what they wanted and as soon as they got it, they left. You put so much trust into them and so, told them so many secrets only for them to leave, leave like they were never there in the first place. But they know how much they meant to you. You told them that and despite that, they still left you. They used you. Disney villains cause problems that can be solved, problems you can navigate, problems that aren't forever problems. But real villains are the source of problems you will never be able to solve, problems you'll never be able to forget about no matter how much you try, problems that tease you, that haunt you, constantly remind you about how dumb you were. Real villains never truly go away. And when you let your mind wander too much, you can feel the way they used to hold you. You can feel the butterflies in your stomach from when you first held hands. You can feel the first hug you shared with them. And your chest tightens like an elephant is sitting on you because some part of you misses it. Even though it was terrible and something you'll never want to relive and as much as you don't want to admit it, they held you like no one else ever had. But now the only thing they are is a ghost. Villains aren't found in stories. Villains are found in our everyday lives. My villain is a teenage boy that does not deserve the award of me speaking his name.